Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. Is it the morning? It's I don't morning. know. Yes. Good morning. Welcome to our commentary for Invasion of the Dinosaurs Part 1. Or just. As it would say in just a second. We're just travelling through Pertwee. We're traveling, <laughs> traveling through the time vortex. Travelling through Pertwee and space. Yes. It says invasion. invasion. Not to be confused with. The Invasion, the invasion from yes. Patrick Trenton, yes. or Invasion, <laughs> which is the episode of the Web Planet. Okay. So this is perhaps why they didn't show it. <laughs> but so we we have got the colour on we just have. about. Yes. And that it's just about I, th I think that, that was that grass green. <laughs> it was sort of green. The track, sort right, of muddy we're, green. We're, we're sort of tracking over to um, mm -hmm. uh, over the Thames, aren't mm -hmm. we? And as as it sort of moves about, you, you sort of wonder whether bits of it are in colour or not. Colour or not, yes. Because um, uh, this has been a sort of mammoth technical... Mm. Uh, oh, look, wimpy. Wimpy. Uh, mammoth mm. technical sort of attempt to get it into colour. Yes. Because the chroma dots didn't quite work No, on this so it had to sort of be colourised a bit as well, didn't it? Yeah, so. there, there's problems with it, with mm. the blue signal, I yes. think, in that they got some yes. colour out of it. But unfortunately, in the story in which the TARDIS is blue and John mm -hmm. Pertwee is wearing blue, it's unfortunate. <laughs> having yes. the blue not work is not what is not helpful. Not so, not so great. But there's lots of um, location filming at this point. Yes. And it's, it, they did it very early, so there's nobody about. It's, it's, was it Paddy Russell doing guerrilla filming? Guerrilla filming. Her and a cameraman. It, it's just, basically. Just, just zooming about yes. and uh, yes. getting what they could. But yes. I mean, you've experienced that yourself. I you have. Know, sort yes. of filming in London yeah. and. Do, doing it quick and yes. then moving on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but so, the TARDIS is uh, looking a bit... <laughs> it's looking a bit shoddy here. It, it has is to, looking uh, a bit shoddy. It has to be said. It's, it's not the best box, this one. Yeah. So. But yeah. we've landed uh, in some sort of parkland yes. or something, isn't it? And, yes. But there's, what was it? There's sort of an abandoned child toys. Toy thing, and, and yes. things littering yes. about. Yes. But they're in the wrong place. And Sarah's had a haircut. Yeah. Since... Um, the time, time warrior. So warrior. obviously they've had an adventure so, in between that and this. Or has Doctor Who got out his, uh, got his out hair drying his, his equipment? Hair drying yeah. Well, he's got to have something to do his own hair, isn't he? It's very bouffant. Yeah, bouffant. Is that the word? Yes. But um, this is an interesting episode in that mm. the Doctor's kept out of the main plot for the most yeah, of it. for the most of it, yeah. This yeah. is quite heartenly mm. in that mm -hmm. they land in a place Yes. and there's a mystery. Yes. Oh, we zoom in on some deck chairs, yeah. but the copy I used to have was so bad, um, sometimes you, if you, you couldn't see what it was, so it could have been a dinosaur they were right, zooming okay. in on, you have no idea. Okay. Um, no. But red telephone boxes, yes. and uh, yeah. phone boxes are not used for phone boxes these days, they're no. used for like uh, mini libraries, libraries or defibrillators yeah, and things like yeah. that. Yeah, because uh, obviously nobody really has to use a public phone anymore. Pertwee says about the vandals were nice chaps, yes. so I just wonder... Uh, which doctor encountered the vandals? Hartnell. You reckon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. But yeah, there's this. Was it, he's a looter chap. He's a looter. With he's his, a villain. With, with his flat cap on. You know he's a he's a villain because he's got a flat cap. So. <laughs> and, mm. and we got a uh, unit Land Rover. Yes. Coming round on Is patrol. Is it a unit Land Rover or is it just an army Land Rover? It's just uh, an army Land Rover, really, isn't it? Could be an army one. Because it hasn't actually got units. I suppose unit can't yeah. afford too many. Yeah. No, no extras can no. they but no. yeah I, I, li I like the idea that you're dropped in the middle of this situation what's happened yeah because yeah. in the in the novelization mm -hmm. there's a whole chapter about some drunken scotsman yeah. isn't there where yeah. he's, he's come down to yeah. um see the football, see the or, football something. or something yeah. and then he comes he, to a sticky end and it? then he sort of drinks whiskey for about yes. a week and yes. then <laughs> Yeah. I don't know whether that's Malcolm Holt's experience of Scotsman, but yeah. uh, or whether Malcolm Holt liked whiskey. Yeah. Well, either or, possibly either or. Oh, or. Pe oh Pertwee's got his. Uh, oh, he's wait, is he waiting for a bus? No, he's got. Has he got his pocket watch? Yeah, he got a pocket yeah, watch. Is, is he Sheldon or something? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he he also has a, a wristwatch at some points, doesn't he? Yeah. So, so. Yeah, hanging around waiting for the bus. Yeah. Um, so, don't consider it might be Sunday. Well, I was going to say the bus service round here on a Sunday is, yeah, it's is not, every half an hour. It's not brilliant, no, but I think there'd be yeah. more traffic. Probably. Than yes. that. So I think that's that's the first clue, isn't Although it? Although you just said, oh, perhaps it's Sunday. Yeah. Frank, we're always closed on a Sunday. It did then, it doesn't quite so much now. No. No. Well, not in London, certainly. No. I mean, you know, Not anywhere, really, not these days. We did, we, you know, when so. we've been there on a Sunday, mm. it's, I can't really tell the difference, to be honest. No. no. But, oh, so. oh, nearly got run over there by. Yeah. Mm. By, a car. by the driver. Yes. 
perhaps he doesn't like hitchhikers. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say, hitchhikers hasn't been written yet. <laughs> Shoe repair centre. Yeah. Cobblers. Cobblers. <laughs> So, was it heel bar? Heel, it says heel bar in very small letters. Very, very small letters. Yeah. Right. And he's chewing gum as well. That is also another indication that he's, he's not up to any good. Okay. Yes. Do you, I was going to say, I don't chew. You, no. you chew gum sometimes, don't not you? Not very often. No, I don't like gum because right. you, you, you've got to find somewhere to get rid of it. I've got Wall's ice cream there. Okay. You know, this is reminiscent of the. Uh, of the Dalek movie with all the yeah. uh, sugar puffs sugar adverts. Puff, uh, but then you've got to have some advertising because. That's normal, isn't it? So you just get it out of focus a bit. Because what, what's so. the line about Woolworths as mm. well? You know, I, right. I take you through time and space, and what excites you <laughs> most, Woolworths. Yeah. Didn't somebody say in this one he's wearing a dog blanket? The doctor. Well, is that um, this story? I'm, mm. I'm thinking that was Curse of Peladon, oh, right, but okay. he does mm. like his sort of. Um, his checks. His checky, yeah. coaty, cloaky things, yeah. doesn't it? Right. He's got gloves on as well. He must be really hot. Yeah, I mean, when was this film? I can't I'm not remember. Really sure. Yeah. Ooh, mm. we're into the, we're into into the jewel, jewelers now. In studio. Yeah. Mm. Is that a grandfather clock? That is or a grandfather clock. Or grandmother clock. Yeah. Grandmothers I are smaller, aren't they? I can't much difference, to be honest. Not without uh, seeing it. A uh, bit of a backdrop there through the uh, mm. through the door. Just a little, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bit obvious. Yes. Yeah. The man's got a sawn off shotgun. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's he, not doesn't, nice. he doesn't want to be disturbed. He doesn't. But, no. uh, yeah, I, I, I don't quite know um, mm -hmm. what he thinks he's going to do with all this, though. No. Because Who's if he going to sell it to? Well, I was going to say, if society is, is broken down, it's mm -hmm. all very well nicking uh -huh. stuff. But is he hopeful that everything will be back to normal in a couple of weeks? Well, perhaps I think it's only London, isn't it? Isn't isn't everybody being shunted off further in the country? Well, that's true. I suppose if he stuff. sort of comes down this way. You yeah, can, he, can, he can sell it to he, somebody he can, dodgy. He can sell it in Wimborne Market mm. or something, can he? I mean, yeah. That's open on a Sunday, I'm sure it is. It is. But mm. there's a clock there. Can we see what time it is? It looks about sort of lunchtime, doesn't no, it? No, it's, it's, a, it's, a it's a bit fuzzy even yes. on this print. Because, yeah. uh, unfortunately, this, even the mm. black and white print of this is not in, in, right in great shape, no. is it? Um, mm. But, uh, oh. yeah, it's a... Uh, but mm. then if you look on the, list, the lists in Doctor Who... A celebration in 1983. Mm. It didn't exist at didn't all exist officially. At all, no, so, no. so we're lucky to have it. Oh, Martha's it, here. Oh, that, that's a nasty mm. bit of uh, yes. blood on the, yes. uh, on the on the on the chat. Yeah. And I if, don't quite know what he's supposed to have met. Tyrannosaurus, yeah. is it? I don't know. But mm. they've certainly mangled the car as well. Yeah. They? So yeah. it's hit something big. Yeah. Yes. So uh, yes. is that that almost looks like Fraser Hines? That, it does a that, bit. Yeah. That radio operator yeah. at Calfrage. So it's we're now not. we're now with mm. unit with yeah. somebody on the typewriter. Yeah. Benton with his maps, with mm. his pins. With your actual... Uh, and a load of child's Zorus. drawings pinned up on the... Yeah. Well, I, I assume they're child's drawings, but maybe sort of Benton, mm. uh, you know, in his, uh, in his sort of lunch hour, he gets his, gets his paints and his crayons out. I don't Being know. creative. I don't know. Mm. Uh, but is that, mm. is that the back of Mike there? Um, <laughs> Can't tell. I'm sure. <laughs> it's difficult that, to tell from the back, Is, is that it? Mike's ear? You know, the camera's coming around. It is coming now. around. We'll get there in a minute. Yes. yes oh it yes. Is. Yeah. Yes. You can tell it is now. Can't yeah. tell from the back of somebody's head who it is. <laughs> well, um, I was going to say you can tell with certain people, well, like John yeah. Abeneri. Well, yeah. That's normally because there's a wiggy wig there. There's, there's a wig. Yes. Yeah. Metropolitan oh, Police. Please, another blue thing. Blue. <laughs> Everything is blue. <laughs> but whether that is a real police station or not, they, mm. they just stuck a sign on it. I'm I think they've just stuck a sign on it. I'm nice. Not entirely sure. I don't think Metropolitan Police actually just have a big sign that says Metropolitan Police. You know, with all this location work, and there's a lot in episode one. Yeah. Um, I half expect Matthew Sweet to come round the corner. Matthew with, Sweet. Wearing his jacket with the, right. with the arms too long, because of course <laughs> Matthew Sweet does a rather good uh, mm. DVD uh, documentary extra for this. He does, doesn't he? Mm. Uh, well, well, there's two looters here. There's somebody yeah. reversing and somebody yes. doing their yes. thing. So there's, there's organised gangs of two. Yes. <laughs> or one. At least. Well, one can't be a gang, can it? Yeah. But, mm. but uh, yeah, just... Uh, yeah. I like Pertwee's big bag of swag yeah, as well. Yeah, big, big swag bag. It's so, you know, it's so suspicious. Just and walk. it's really seventies as well because that's checks. I was going to say, but yeah, the, the, cloak. the, the bag is mm. and the cloak are, are colour. Co in mm. fact. Um, Sarah's um, sort of jackety thing as well goes quite well with. Yeah, it's all very checky, isn't it? This yeah, episode. With the thing. Yeah. So we're going into the, uh, into the garage. Sort of ga garagey bit there. Yes. And are we going to get the uh, the emu scene there? The emu scene. <laughs> Your actual pterodactyl. Yeah, but we mm. should point out that our friends Paul and Nick have reviewed um, 
Invasion of the Dinosaurs yep. on our on our podcast. Yes. So if you want to listen to a more in-depth thing. So it's episode 16 of yes. Ray in the Archives, um, which is the Paul, 70s special. Paul attempting to remember what a dinosaur's called and absolutely, utterly failing. Yeah. Bless him. But, I mean, you're very fond of dinosaurs, aren't you? I like dinosaurs, you? yes. Um, yes. So, this it, one works for me quite well. Yeah, I mean, yes, mm. yes, we know everybody moans about the, the models in this. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was nasty. Perfectly yeah. gets a clonk on the... Yeah. Well, well, is that Terry Walsh? I think that's Terry Walsh, yes. Okay. Um, Terry Walsh is a stuntman that does a lot of yeah. uh, stunts in this era of Doctor Well, Moore. he often stands in for John Pertwee. stands in for John but... Pertwee in an unconvincing wig. <laughs> yeah. yeah Pertwee's been as well. clonked. So you get a good view of his blue jacket now. Yeah, that's very so. blue, isn't it? Yeah, it's now, now the coats. Yeah. Did he have a blue jacket in? I suppose he must have. Well, yeah, it's just been covered up by the cloak, that's yeah. all. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think this is a new jacket because there's that, that sort of publicity shot of him sitting in the lab with the... With the contr- with the sort of um, stun gunny thing, yeah. that's one of the sort of famous mm. photos of this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, apparently he's now going to nick the Land Rover. Of course. <laughs> you, look, you can tell how old it is. It's got a tax disc in the. Oh, in gosh, the, in yeah, the you film. don't need to show tax disc anymore, do they? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. can't get the doors open now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, any second there, we're going to get the. Uh, Oh, shrill squawking, it says. Big close-up for Pertwee mm-hmm. and a... Pterodactyl and on a, a string. Pterodactyl on, on a string. Uh, but, yeah, the, the bits with the beak coming yeah. straight at you. That works quite well. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And especially the bit in the minute where um, it comes through the... Uh, <laughs> through the <laughs> sorry, laughing at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming mm-hmm. through... The, yeah, there are. Coming through the, uh, the, the window there and snapping. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for mm. sort of kids of the seventies, it, it does sort of conjure up Rod Halloween, you yes. know, sort of attacking, yeah. attacking Michael Parkinson, doesn't it? <laughs> it just doesn't work when it's flying because it's, it's, it's hovering. hovering. It's and, like it's like a hover hover pterodactyl. Hovered. No, no, because it, it, mm. I think the idea is that pterodactyls glide. Don't yes, they? They so they the they're carrot, in the tree they? and yeah. they, they sort of swoop. Mm. I was going to say majestically, but. Mm. We've got John Bennett here now as, as, gen- as the general, general mm. with his uh, with his best hat on, mm. and uh, I think Rose is clambering in the cupboard. That's Martha. Is that Martha? Yeah. Okay. So they've had to evacuate eight million people. Yeah. If you can hear crashing, it's just Martha yeah. knocking stuff down. So yeah, where all these people uh, go to? Everywhere else, don't they? Milton Keynes, maybe. <laughs> Woking. Yeah, they're probably in in, in Scotland. It's yeah. not room, probably more room in Scotland. Yeah, I don't really so. know. But yeah, there's a view out the out the, out the window. That's so. done quite well, actually. That's yeah, that's not a bad backdrop. Yeah, backdrop. Yeah. So it's not not a bad one at all. Yeah. But yeah, you've got you can see the I think you can see the Thames on the map. So it does yeah. sort of look a bit like the title sequence for EastEnders, doesn't it? <laughs> that's like, a little dot like, like zoomed out. I think yeah. EastEnders would be livened up if it had a few dinosaurs. Possibly. Yeah. 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 That that'd be quite fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, they're wondering where the doctor <coughs> where the doctor is. Um, mm-hmm. So this is one of those stories, I, I always said that um, when Doctor Who came back, mm. um, I always said there's a lot of stories that would be over a lot quicker because you had mobile phones. Yes. So yeah. now the Doctor would just ring up the Brigadier yeah. or something. Or the Brigadier would ring the Doctor up. Yeah. And but, go, but Doctor, this, we need your help. But this whole first, or the, uh, yes. the, uh, the guy holding the, the gun that he just wobbles and they put, yeah. the, uh, put the sound effect on. Yeah. But yeah, it was... That was one of my first things when Doctor Who mm. came back. I thought, mm. Well, there's a lot of things you can't do now because no. mobile phones just cut through so much mm-hmm. of um, not but being they, able to contact They people. use that to their advantage. Don't oh, they? yes, That's I mean, it opens up new things as well. That you can phone people and, and you know. But it, it, it always concerns me about, um, you know, if I ever write stuff, what mm. people know and what they can do and, yeah. and yeah. are other people aware of where they are and what they're mm-hmm. doing and what they know. Yes. Um, because of course, the Doctor and Sarah have absolutely no idea, so What's need to be brought up to speed, yeah. even when they do, yeah. sort of, you know, finally meet up with the Brigadier, which isn't mm. going to happen this in this episode. It was a great, great big form, this huge form to be filled in. Mm. So you've got to write in very big writing. Yes. Uh, yeah. But yes. Oh, and the uh, looter's got a blue jacket. Got yeah, your... everybody's got blue on. It's yeah. really unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, Sarah's. Coat, uh, c- uh, collar there is it's sort of flaring, flaring a, bit. a bit in the sort yeah. of red, isn't it? Yeah. Um, is he in the war games? This actor? I don't know. I don't know who familiar. he is. Uh, again, I need the huh. need the cast list open. Yes. But some some wonderful uh, 
uncomfortable looking like village hall chairs in the yes. background. Yeah, they're all really uncomfortable. Yeah. I've sat on those chairs for a while and they are uncomfortable after a while. I was going to say, when you came to, uh, came to our village hall in Wimble St Giles and we saw the, uh, saw the Hob, was it, no, the Hob, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. On DVD. You need to take a cushion. Yeah. Mm. But I like his little camera that they, yeah. uh, they're going to do the mug yeah. shot stuff there. So, mm. Doctor's got his number. Mm-hmm. There's an awful lot of prisoners, I was going to say. Um, yeah. Mm. It's like, like, like a six or seven figure, yeah. figure number. So I don't know quite how that number exists. Yeah, I love the way he has to just rub one number off and then and like then the put next another number. one. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a really efficient one way seven, of doing it. One seven seven eight two is Sarah. Yes. So yeah. Huh. Oh, got to go to the light. So mm. yeah, that's that's over a hundred thousand prisoners. Yeah. In wow. fact, getting on for two hundred thousand. Yeah. I like that. What about one of the both of us? That is a very that's you a very know, John Pertwee thing. Say, well, no, you can see the Doctor doing well, that. Any, any, doing any, that, there. Yeah. that is such yeah. a doctor thing, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah. I, can, I can actually see there's Peter a, There's a poster for jazz that. in the background, yes. like concert, concert jazz. jazz. Because they are in a, in, a, in a sort of, it's not a village hall, because obviously it's in London, but they are in a sort of church hall, aren't they? Yeah, well, they've got some foldy chairs yeah. and, and, and there's a union flag in the background yeah. as well. Right, uh, so. Well, it nice to see they've got the fire extinguisher there. Yeah, though, yeah, so, yeah. Because you, know. you always get a fire extinguisher in yeah. that kind of place in case there's a fire. Health and, sa- health and safety laws yes. being obeyed here. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, probably he's going to do his, uh, his, oh, God, his Cockney yeah. accent oh, in, in, in a minute. Yeah. Um, You're a narc, you ain't ya. Yeah, we haven't quite got to that yeah. yet. But, uh, so. but yeah, now you've got the other prisoner mm-hmm. telling you because of the monsters. Yes. Um, so, you know, immediately cut to. Monster. Monster! I'm really not sure a dinosaur could do that no. through brickwork without actually hurting itself. So this is the <laughs> supposed Tyrannosaurus Rex, which yeah. is coming straight for us. I'm well, really, yes, it's the Chewit yeah. Monster. Well, yeah, you better explain what the Chewit's Monster well, if, is. Well, if you're of a certain age, you remember an advert for Chewits, which are... Um, chewy Sweets. Chewy Sweets. And it was meant to be like Godzilla or something, I think. Yeah. It was the Chewitz monster, and it looks awfully I like mean, Chewitz were a sort of more chemically version of Starburst, yeah. weren't they? I, quite, yeah. I don't mind Chewitz, no. but available... I always remember yeah. blackcurrant flavour yes. Chewitz myself. They were really hard to chew Chewitz, though. They were very, very... They yeah. weren't as chewy as, as Starburst. But the... Mo- the chew- are, are the Chewy Sweets are available? Uh, well, he's slowly oh, lumbering off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It still it still looks like Fraser. I'm sorry, yeah, very yeah. young Fraser Hines. Yeah. But, well, uh, yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say I, I I quite like. I, I remember Opal Fruits when they were called Opal Fruits as yes. well. So. But uh, look at that clown, clown's face in the background mm-hmm. as well. Uh, very strange. And it d- does beg the question: Who in real life drew all these pictures? Perhaps, perhaps they got the kid. Do, well, somebody's got their kid to do it, the designer. Well, they're all done in different styles, so whether they're leftovers from Vision On, I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. I'm sorry, we can't re- return any work, but we will nick them and use them in Doctor Who later. You know. I, I it's probably on the production notes somewhere, yeah. or, or in somebody, it, somebody Either that, or the designer had a great time doing all these pictures. Yeah. Perhaps he got all the cast to do it. There seems to be a balloon there in the, yeah. in the, in the, okay. in the corner there. But, Possibly. But now... Uh, and it's Benton. It's Benton. We should mention that. He's, lo- he's looking through the mug shots. Yeah. The Brigadier's looking aghast yeah. at the expression mm. that John Pertwee's pulling, yes. I think. So. so, looter charged with stolen furs, jewellery, and money. Mm-hmm. And there's that journalist girl, Sarah Jane Smith. Now, this is interesting. Because so Benton didn't meet her. Well, no, not that. Every, nobody's worried about what happened to Sarah Jane. No. Because she no. gets in. As far as the Brigadier knows, she's just disappeared because yes. he didn't see her get in the TARDIS. No, he didn't. No, no. Mm. So, it, again, it doesn't quite join up. No. It's no. what I said to you about what people know and what yes. they've seen and what they mm-hmm. think. Now, um, they assume she's just gone off with the Doctor, but mm-hmm. previously, wouldn't they have been looking for her because she's well, just vanished? You would hope so. And indeed, yeah. you know, she could have... Um, and they didn't know her name was Sarah Jane, no. they thought she was Lavinia Smith. That's true. Yes, yeah. there you go, you see. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah, gosh. Um, Never thought of that before. Oh no, what's he looking at here? I Look, don't know. That's a, that's a very dodgy looking picture that is in that quite magazine. Dodgy, magazine. Yes. A lady. Is he, is he looking at a lady in a, a unmentionable? A blue magazine. Yeah, a blue magazine. <laughs> well, everything else is blue. <laughs> oh, it could be. So, um, <laughs> but again, how soon hmm. after the events of uh, Time Warrior? It would seem to be some time. Is, is this? Yeah, it's got a bit. So at least for the a brigadier, month. it's a, for the brigadier, it's a while. Yeah, it's got to be about a month. Yeah, 
Because um, that gets cleared up. All the scientists come back. Perhaps, they, perhaps Rubish tells him. Yeah, possibly. That yeah. Sarah, Sarah's with the Doctor. Yeah. And her name's Sarah, not Lavinia. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Rubish must tell him. So that's, that's yeah. the thing. Oh, is, uh, is it Ben Harris? Ben it's, Harris. Yes. Who will go on to be in Heidi High. Oh, right, okay. And his son was in Sherlock. Okay. Mm. But yeah, so. he, he, he gets the sort of uh, not mm. listening, uh, yeah. you know, sort of mm -hmm. officer type who, who just cannot be bothered no, with just stamp it stamp yeah he, he, stamp. he, he doesn't want to, i get the feeling he doesn't want to be doing this no he's got uh, more important things to be doing yeah so yeah. so caught in possession of two tape recorders one radio and a color television a color set. television set now you see nowadays you wouldn't and again you, you, you're still having to say a color television yeah, set because a lot make, of people will still be watching black and white to make it more important yes um, i would have been watching this in color at this point because right. um, i said i can't quite remember hmm. This this story, I have vague memories at mm. at, at best. No. Um, but again, the trouble is because I've read the book. Mm. You know um, why it happens. Yeah, yeah. And, and I read the book quite a few times because mm. up there we have got the uh, yes, the cover. The cover. Well, not the cover. A, a, well, version a of copy it. of it. Yes. The Chris signed by Chris Achilles. Ka Kaklak. Kaklak. Which is the terrible exclamation thing. mark. Yes. Yeah. And again, mm. that. That, that's red, you see. That's not blue. That's no, all no, very no, red and blue. orange. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, what was it? He said that he did it, and uh, they weren't too sure about putting words on it. No. But, but, but all the kids remember it and like it because yeah. that was, yeah, that was one of our top choices to get if we it were going to get a, a Chris we one. Look, we looked at that, and we looked at um, Doctor and the Loch Ness Monster, yeah. which is coming up. Yeah. In the next few days, and okay. I decided to put that one because. Carry on, Sergeant. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's a. <laughs> Uh, they, I'm sure they probably didn't even realise that. No, no. Yeah, that's no, a, that's a William Hartnell yes. joke. Yes. yes. So off they go. Yeah, that's it. He's off to his mm -hmm. next his next job. Yeah. He did his like two minutes here, and then mm -hmm. he's, he's going off to. Well, I think he do. You, do you think he wishes he was fighting monsters or? Probably. Or, or he's or like, not. well, I'd like, I'd like to be. You know. The soldier's yeah. still looking at his his dodgy his, magazine. His dirty yeah, magazine. He, yeah. He's uh, mm -hmm. clearly engrossed mm -hmm. in that and uh, mm -hmm. taking no no interest mm -hmm. in the prisoners at all. No. So, so Pert, we've thought of a thing now. And yes. He's suggesting we have a fight. You're the knock, aren't you? Can you? It was you what grasped on us. I never grasped in my life. Yes, you did. Come on, on your feet, up there. All right, <laughs> you great dressed up twit. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, at least, I was going to say, at least uh, John doesn't do it in his um, uh, words or garbage voice or no, something like that. No, that wouldn't work, would it? You know, because we haven't had a comedy yokel for at least you know a couple of weeks, have we? No. <laughs> we'll be getting one soon, though. But a little bit mm. of a twist here is the uh, other mm. prisoner. Oh, the way Pertwee picks just picks him up and throws him on the stage. Yes. Virtually, that's that's, yeah. that's rather nice. So, yeah. running down the thing. That's some sort of grotty alley. Yeah. Well, it's not that grotty actually. That looks like a school or something, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, there's a means of escape. Yes. Yeah. So into the uh, into the. Land, I was going to say Land Rover, I must stop mm -hmm. saying Jeep, because mm -hmm. Jeeps are American and, yes. and Land Rovers are... It almost looks mm -hmm. like the, the school gate from Remembrance of the Daleks. I know, it's, bit, I yeah. know it's not, yeah. but... Uh, and he's trying to uh, mm -hmm. hot wire it or something, mm -hmm. a piece of wire to jump the ignition. Yeah, yeah. teach all the kids at school how to, mm -hmm. how to hot wire. I'll try in back. Uh, hey? That's okay. what he said, I'll try in back. Um, in the back. Oh, no. Ready for the detention centre? Mm. Wah, 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 wah. Mm. So yeah, but one of those sort of escape attempts that doesn't really, no. really go anywhere. Mm. Um, but yeah, into some... And we're rapidly coming up towards the cliff Into right now. A sort mm. of suburbia now, aren't yes. we? There's just some, mm. some housing. Some big houses. Mm. Got the handcuffs out. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I like, like the way that they're, they're, they're just handcuffed together, so they mm. can still run away. Yeah, but they just not have to, they far. just have to yes. just not get get in the, a lamp post in the middle of no. it or something like that. Mm. But, uh, yeah, what they're going to end up doing sewing mail bags <laughs> or something. Do people still sew sew mail bags? Oh, mm. here we go, creature roaring. The uh, mm. um, come to a swift halt. Pert, we looks mm. out through a mm. gap in, and there's. The oh, it's it's dribbling a bit. It's actually got a bit, yes. a bit of um, yes. spittle. Spit there, mm. and uh, yeah, again, it's not bad until it sort of basically Moves. falls over. Yes. <laughs> it sort of yeah. lurches into the camera, yeah. and they but they have to cut away quick. Barry Letts was very disappointed with the dinosaurs, and, and there we are with the new mm. showy offy 
Title End sequence. titles, which is the title sequence, of course. Mm -hmm. I remember. Because yeah. I think I like, actually, the because this is the diamond end mm -hmm. titles, and I think I quite like that more than the thing. Well, you get this thing that it always reminded me of Giant's Footprint. You oh, see the yeah. thing out on the, on the left, it keeps looping round. Oh, it yeah. looks like a sort of... Mm -hmm. Like a giant stood on it, but of course all that's done with plastic bags. And there we go. Mm -hmm. But good setup episode. Yes. I think, and, uh, yes, and it's intriguing because yeah. if you didn't know that it was dinosaurs, yeah, they didn't they give it away by having a picture of a dinosaur. Yeah. But there we are, Paddy mm -hmm. Russell. Yes, bless her. Thank you, Paddy. Yes. Bye bye. Bye.